Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Today we're going to build a news media app. So it's going to be an app where you can browse and read stories and you can see pictures. You can read the news, maybe at the end, maybe we might add podcasts in where you can listen to podcasts. But this is, app is all going to be about reading the news. So national news, weather, state news, local news, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a news media app. So I have Android Studio opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and select start a new Android Studio project. And we'll call this we'll call this news media because that's that'll be the name of it, news media. For example, you can put in whatever, for domain, you can put in whatever you want. If you don't have something, just put example.com. That doesn't really matter. Um, you can leave that unchecked, but make sure you keep include Kotlin support checked and hit next. So on this screen, it kind of sets up the minimum version of Android that we want to support. And in this case, the defaults are fine. Lollipop is fine because the further back you go, if you want to support the last two years, that's pretty easy. If you want to support the last 10 years, that's a little bit more complicated. So a lot of Android developers don't develop for older devices. So you can kind of see here, this covers about 85% of devices. It's something like that. Um, we're not going to be Wear or TV or Android Auto or Android Things, although in the future maybe. So let's go ahead and click Next with that. And this kind of gives us a basic overview of like what kind of style we want to set up for our app, or not style, but kind of screens to help you out a little bit. So in this case, I'm going to select Basic Activity, hit Next. And this is going to set up an activity, which is another term for a screen in Android. So I want to go ahead and click Finish. And this could take a couple of seconds and or a couple of minutes, depending upon how fast your computer is. But Gradle will build. It'll have all this loading icons. But when all that's done, and this could take a couple of minutes on a slower machine, but when it's all done, you should see something kind of like this. So there, Android Studio has a lot of panels. So I'm going to go ahead and close the bottom panel. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. It takes up the full screen now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and run it. So I'm going to save the app and I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the top left of uh, make sure that you have app selected there, which should be by default, and then hit the play button. And now in this case, I already have an em emulator set up, but if you don't, you need to go ahead and I think it's one of these icons. You need to go, go to one of these icons and click create, a, create virtual device. And this will kind of walk you through it, setting up a virtual device. And I actually, already done that. I've already done that in another tutorial on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, look for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the run button, and it says, "Hey, which emula emulator do you want to use?" I'm going to go ahead and check. Uh, use the same selection for future launches, and I'm going to select one that I already set up. So I'm going to hit OK, and then if a couple of seconds. Um, this should show up. This is an emulator. It's kind of like a simulator, but it's more for actually displaying your app or running your app inside of your computer. So instead of having to plug in a phone or a tablet into your laptop or desktop or whatever, you can just have it right here on the screen. So here it is. So it says, hello world. Um, again, it kind of mimics whatever is inside of here. Um, but let's go ahead and change something because we kind of see that this is working at least for the most part. We have our news media app there. We have an overflow icon. We have a floating action button. It can get, uh, you know, it's a little snack bar at the bottom. So all of this was because we chose, we chose uh, act basic activity when we set up the Android Studio project. So let's change some stuff. Over on the left side, open up projects. And then make sure you're in Android, and then let's go to Resources, Arez, Values, and then Colors. And this is where we can set the colors of our app. I'm going to go ahead and click Open That. You're probably not going to need to do this, but I'm just going to do it once and hit OK. Should save everything. You don't need to. You don't need to do that. That's just for me. So we have different colors here, and if you notice over to the left side, you can see we have different colors there. And if I go to the emulator, you can see, hey, it's using the pink color for that and the the green color for that. These colors can be anything. This one can be. Uh, what you can do is, if you do know the HTML code, you can paste it in there. But if you don't, you can just use this on the left, and you can select any color you want. I'm going to select black for the color accent. So that's that line. And then we have a color primary dark and a color primary. So let's make color primary. I kind of like this certain color. Let's go for something kind of like, uh, let's go for something kind of like that. I kind of like that color. I'm going to click choose. And then I'm going to copy that color and I'm going to paste it over to there. So both of those have the same color. But for color primary dark, I'm going to come here and make it a little bit darker because that's kind of the style on Android and I want to be consistent with that. So let's go ahead and hit the run button. Then I'm going to go back to the emulator and if we wait a couple of seconds, you should see that 
the emulator opened up and it did and you can see we even have our colors so there's the black color around the floating action button we have the red color for the toolbar other than the darker red color for the status bar so i'm going to go ahead and stop the video at this point but in the next video we'll continue working on this we'll probably set up some of the layout for this news media app and i just named it news media because I don't have a better name for it right now, so in the future it'll be called something else. But this is an app where you can read the news, so hopefully you learned something, and in the next part we'll get started with some of the layout. We'll be talking about constraint layout and how you can use constraint layout to build uh, UI. You know, uh, yeah, we'll do it in the next video. So I'll go ahead and stop it here and see you in the next video.